Hey guys, the Cubebit here. Today I'll be unboxing the new and improved Gicker Smart Cube from AliExpress. All right, so I was not expecting a regular Gicker Cube. I already have two. I have the one I stickered myself, and I have the one I took the magnets out of. And then this third cube over here is the Gicker M3, which is the normal Gicker 3x3 that is competition legal. It doesn't have sensors in it, and it turns exactly how these two feel. However, I was not expecting this regular Gicker Cube in this package, so I will be giving this away to one of you guys. So throughout this video, I'll be going over the differences between this new and improved Gicker Cube and the original one, and I will also be going over the new app, which has had a lot of cool updates done to it. So it comes with this cool little cardboard thing, which can be used as a little display case. I use this other one that came with the original one to display my original Gicker Cubes. Now this one actually comes with a charging cable, which is nice because the original one did not. I actually had to ask a friend because I did not have a micro USB cable handy. I had to ask them to borrow theirs. So it's nice that they actually put one in the package. Then here we have the user manual, which does have English on it, which is nice. The previous one did not. It comes with a Chinese one as well. And then we have stickers and logos. And let's go ahead and look at the shades on this. So here we have the logos. And then as for the sticker shades, we just have some pretty bright stickers, and I'm not sure what these are. This might be application tape, so I'm going to put those off to the side. But we have a pretty bright green, a fluorescent yellow, a bright orange, a little bit of a brighter red that I'm used to, and a regular blue, and a regular white. So the normal color scheme. And as you guys can tell, on the cube, it actually comes with a normal color scheme. So here we have red, white, blue, orange, green, and then yellow and white, whereas before, the color scheme was this really awkward one. It had pink, a mint green, this, which I think acts as the red, but it's actually an orange. It's, it was a really terrible color scheme, and it even had this color scheme on the app. So I'm really happy that they decided to actually go with the normal color scheme. The logo looks really nice. There was no logo before on the original one. Another big difference you can tell right now is the color of this charging cable thing. I'm not exactly sure what to call this. And the way you charge it is uh, you plug this into your computer or into a little power block, and then the other end goes into that while this is on this cube. And you want to make sure that this charging thing is over the green and blue sides because that's where it charges this little metal pin goes into that and then somehow it charges. I don't know the science behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and pair this cube out of the box without charging it with the new and improved upgraded app that they have released. If you already had the previous app, just go to your app store and update it. Uh, it should have a lot of new cool features and the app should be a lot easier to maneuver around. So pairing up the cube with the app is just as simple as it was before. All you have to do is open up the app and then a connect window will pop up. It'll pop up the Gicker cube and you click on the appropriate one. So click connect. And then in this case, uh, I have three Gicker cubes on the table, as you can see, but this one is the GIS3. The other two are going to pop up as a GIC. But clicking on the GIS3, we're now synced up with this new upgraded Gicker cube. So I just want to go over all the cool features, uh, new and old, and show you guys what's changed on the app. So starting off on the top left of the screen, if you click that, you can see you can turn on and off sound. You can look at the information on the cube. You can change language from English to Chinese. Clicking on the cube on the top right, you can see the total moves made on your cube, the name of your cube, which you can edit by clicking on it. You can change your avatar on the top by clicking on that as well. And it also shows you your battery. Straight out of the box, this had 40%. Since then, I've charged it. The charge time is an hour, and it lasts about 30 hours, supposedly. And then here, you can also reset the cube, which I'll go over a little bit later. And then you can disconnect and reconnect your cube from here as well. So clicking on learn brings you to a tutorial that shows you a step-by-step -step on how to solve the cube. The tutorial walks you through a layer-by-layer -layer solution and provides you all necessary details needed to learn how to solve the cube. I think this would definitely be capable of teaching someone with no issues. I've run through a few of the steps myself. So here you can see it starts out with the white flower or the daisy as some people call it, the white cross, the top layer. It goes through every single step and it also makes you practice each step to ensure that you actually have got it down before you get onto the next one. Moving on to the games tab, we have a few different games, some new and some old. First, we have Color Memory. Now this game, for the, life, for the life of me, cannot figure out how to actually play it. It says, twist your cube according to color's order. And so it just pops up these colors and it doesn't really tell you what to do. There's a countdown. And then after that countdown, not exactly sure what happens. Uh, you can pause and leave the game or reset that level and play it again. But once the countdown starts, I'm really unsure on what to actually do. 
And so here, if it wants me to put a yellow on the blue face, I do the turn and I don't know what it wants. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure. If you guys can figure it out, or if you have this for yourself, let me know down in the comments. Pixel Puzzle is pretty much the same as on the last version of this app. All you have to do is match a specific side, in this case the white side, to that design and see uh, how long it takes you to get from that face to the design on the screen. And it does time you, so you, here you can see I'm making the moves. So here I'm actually gonna want orange on top and then blue on the bottom. Below the minimum step, are you a robot? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. No, I'm not a robot, I'm just fast at this. Uh, but anyways, there's a few different levels there and it gets harder and harder the farther you go. So moving on to Cube Crash, this game is kind of like Guitar Hero and cubing combined. I think this would be the most helpful with getting familiar with your color scheme because as it gets faster and faster, you're sort of forced to make turns without having to look back at the cube. So here, you make the turns as the little note sort of gets onto the uh, actual tab. It's kind of like Guitar Hero. All right, and then if you get the moves incorrect or if you miss things, then the game is over. And then you get some sort of score. I'm not exactly sure how the scoring works or what S, A, B, C, D, E, how that scoring system works. But moving on to the fourth and final game, we have Cube Miner. This is sort of similar to an older game that was on the first version of the app. You want to move the wizard to the glowing ring, getting enough coins to enter that ring while also doing it in as few moves as possible. So like other games, it gets more difficult the farther you get into it. So starting on level two, here it tells, you to, it tells you to hold the cube a certain way with white on top, blue in front, and orange on the right. And then you want to get the wizard that's right there over to there, but you want to first get that coin, which is worth 100 points, or 100 uh, gold. So there you turn there, and then you move it over to the glowing ring. On the bottom from left to right, the rocket will simply show you move by move how to solve the cube. This is just in case you don't know how to actually solve it and want to get to the solve state. One feature they've added is to change the speed at which the app makes the turn. So here it wants you to hold the cube a certain way. You're gonna click okay. And then here you can change the speed from super to fast. And then you follow along move by move. So on the bottom right, we have the smart timer, which is one of my favorite features on this app. Unfortunately, they don't provide you with scrambles just yet, although I hope they do sometime in the future. So starting and stopping the timer is the exact same as before. All you have to do is scramble the cube. Click ready, and then the timer should start once you make your first turn, ending once the cube is solved. All right, so there we have a sub-13 solved, pretty good for me. So if your cube is solved right here, and it doesn't show that it's solved on the actual app, all you have to do is go back to the home screen, click on the top right, all you have to do is click reset. And then that lets the app know that the cube is actually solved and then it'll reset the entire thing. So once the solve is done, you have tons of new cool features. Now it tells you your turns per second instead of seconds per turn. Here we can see my TPS was six. You can see the total moves made, your current best time. In this case, this is a new PB on the app, so that's why you see new on the top. You can see your current average of five as well as your current average of 12. So clicking on more shows you all the stats for all your solves, including the time, the moves, the TPS. On the top, you can see the number of solves total in the session. And if you click on any of them, in this case, 28 second solve, which is incredible, uh, you can see what the scramble looked like. You can see your solution, the TPS, and the number of moves made. And if you want to copy that solution, just click on the bottom left, and then a little thing pops up. The result has been copied. Or if I want to delete it, just go ahead and click the little trash can, which I definitely want to do on that 28 second solve. So if you want to go straight to the stats, click on the top right and then click on the little graph. And then in this case, I want to take a look at the 12.99 second solve. All right, so something I just learned, which I hope they fix. Uh, so as you saw, I had a 12.99. I then went directly to more to see all my other times and then I deleted a time from there. I guess it thought I was deleting the 12.99 because it deleted that or it didn't save that and it also deleted the 28 second solve. So I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the 13 second solve I have. So here you can see the scramble, the solution, the time, steps, and TPS. One of the coolest new features you can get to by clicking analysis on the top right. So this shows you your splits throughout the entire solve. 
Here you can see what moves were made, your TPS, time, and percentage of the solve were spent on that exact step. So for someone who does CFOP or CROSS, F2L, OLL, PLL, you'll notice a few things are skipped. Uh, so here we just have CROSS, we didn't do the white flower, we didn't do just the corners, we did F2L. So here we have my time spent on F2L was 6.04 seconds with 33 moves, TPS 5.46, and 46% of my solve being in F2L. Then you see OLL on the yellow face and PLL on switching edges. I think this will be most helpful in trying to determine what steps you need to practice more. This is also nice because sometimes it's difficult to reconstruct a good solve you got just because you forgot what moves you made. With this, you no longer have to wor really worry about that because it just does it all for you. Uh, one more cool thing I've noticed is, so on this cube, we have a, we have Fulbrights on it. So we have a normal standard color scheme with red, white, blue, orange, green, yellow. And on the actual app itself, if you click on the top right, you see this reflects that. So it shows the normal color scheme. Now, if you want to disconnect this, and if you want to pair it up with this original cube with the really terrible color scheme, now if you click on the top right, you can see it reflects that as well. So it shows the really crappy color scheme on there. So it's pretty cool that they've added that feature so it doesn't just show you a normal standard color scheme when you're working with what you might already have, which might be the original cube. Uh, so I think that was definitely a cool feature to have been added. So that's pretty much all the new features that have been added on this upgraded app. So the cube itself seems to be a bit smoother than the original cube. I really like the colors on this and the fact that it comes with extra stickers, logos, and a charging cable. I would definitely recommend this upgraded version over the original version. With Christmas coming up, I think this is a great thing to put onto your wish list and give it to your parents. Hopefully they get it for you because this would definitely be a great addition to any collection. I'll have a link to where you can get this down in the description from AliExpress. I've seen the prices fluctuate a little bit on their website, so expect to pay high 30s or high 40s on this. Either way, I think it's definitely worth it. I will also be giving this cube to one of my friends and having them go through the learn process and see if they can actually learn how to solve a cube from it. Uh, I'll get back to you guys about that on my Instagram. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have links to that as well as my other social media down in the description. So AliExpress was nice enough to also send me an original Kicker Cube. So I will be giving this away because I already have a couple of them on my desk, as you can see. So all you have to do to enter this, uh, this will be a US only giveaway, is comment down below if you have this cube, plan on getting it, or it will be putting it on your wish list for the holiday season. I'll be announcing the winner of this giveaway alongside my 20,000 subscriber giveaway winners. So keep an eye out for that video. It should be out in the next week. Uh, either way, I definitely recommend getting this cube, especially the upgraded version. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the description below. Thanks again to AliExpress for sending me these cubes. I really appreciate it. Good luck to anybody that enters the giveaway. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.